Okay, everybody, this is Mountain Blade Warband. Now, what's really quite odd about this is that I've had this game ever since it came out. I've always had it installed, and I've only played it once. <laughs> now, what made me play uh, buy the game was actually because of mods. Um, so, let's start a new game, I guess. Uh, I am a noob. If you happen to leave in the comments that, oh, you're just a noob, you don't know what you're doing, well, you'd be 100% correct. I don't know what I'm doing. And that is the way that it is. All right, dear players, welcome to 1860s Old America, a free mod that I made for my true supporters. The only thing that I kindly ask to use rating it on the video mod database. Well, I think making a video of it for you, I think might be good enough. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was an impoverished member of gent not gentry. He wasn't a gentry. A wandering vagabond. Can't say that either. He was a hunter. Okay, you were the son of a family who lived off the woods, doing whatever they needed to make ends meet. Hunting, wood cutting, making arrows, even a spot of poaching. Whenever things got tight, when it was never a good time for your family, as the cold took animals and people alike, but you always lived to see another dawn, though your brothers and sisters might not be so fortunate. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, looking at myself today, take myself back to this time, what would I have been? Uh, street urchin. As a boy growing out of childhood, you took the streets doing whatever you must survive, begging, thieving, and working for gangs. Well, actually, no, I never really did that, but I mean, it didn't give me other, any other options to go with. Uh, then as a young adult, life changes as it always does. You became a... Always wanted to be a smithy. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had to become a man and the whole world seemed to change around you. You preserved your career as a smith, crafting items of function and beauty out of simple metal. As time wore on, you became a master of your trade and fine work started to fetch fine prices. With food in your belly and logs on your fire, you could take pride in your work and your growing reputation. As soon as everything changed, you decided to strike out on your own as a venture. What made you take this decision was... Well, I don't, hmm. It would most likely be a loss of a loved one. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. All you can say is that you couldn't bear to stay, not with the memories of those you love so close and so painful. Perhaps your new life will let you forget, or honor the name you can no longer bear to speak. Become an adventurer and ride your destiny. Uh, allow me to quit without saving. Realistic. Okay, we'll do that. Now enter your name and distribute your attributes. Mr. Hmm. What am I going to call myself here? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to use my real name. Um. Under belly. All right, my attributes here. Uh, good agility. Uh, one. This is strength. There we go. Skills. Um, power draw and shoot. Weapon master of two. Riding. I would really be good at riding back then because I love it. Did it when I was a kid. I actually had a horse fall on its side with me still on it and it trapped me underneath him. Wound treatment, definitely. First aid, definitely. 
engineer. Well, that would be John. That definitely wouldn't be me. Uh, persuasion. Iron flesh. Give that to power strike. Okay. 15 points here. Hmm. Done. Adjust your character's face using the buttons and the sliders. So if I take what I am today, hair color would be white. Well, no, the hair color, it's funny. My hair color is brown. I'm not getting any brown hair. Actually, no. Definitely not that. That way. Okay. Okay, so that that age does that that's about right right there. There. Well it's about the best I'm gonna be able to do. I'm not gonna mess with any of that. Alright, here about North America, a land torn between rival factions battling each other for supremacy, soldiers and mercenaries. Native American adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory in this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities. You leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about the new world and its lands, you... How would I do, Troy? The South New French territories? No. Not to Mexico. State of the Union? Yeah. I mean, the way I am in real life, I would never have gone to the plains where the Indians were to take anything from them. I mean, I would have just traveled to this, to there. You have come through, you have come through the great uh, Britain Highlands, a plateau exposed to the bitter world winds from the north. The land here is frozen for most of the year, but the forests are rich with fur-bearing game, and the rivers are teeming with fish. The riches of the land draw the traders, but the traders in turn draw bandits. You saw the, the occasional dark figure mounted on a shaggy pony, watched them pass up your caravan from a snowy ridge, and were glad when the spires of Albany came into view across the wide valley of the Hudson River. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Cincinnati and fall asleep quickly. However, you awake before dawn and are eager to, eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hair on the back of your neck on edge, on end. So we'll go with continue. All right. This is the great ship, is it? Great ship, lollipop. All right, how do I access this? Oh, F. Master Underbelly. All right, hold on here now. This is what is on me, is it? I'm not understanding this. Uh... Sale price 11. Okay, so obviously. Alright, that's. Is that me here? That's got to be my outfit. So, okay, that's. Alright, that's what I have on me. I have a knife, a hawk and rifle, uh, tools. That must be. Can't access inventory right now. All right, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Retreat from battle. What? Retreat. 
can't retreat. There are enemies nearby. So what are they? Down here? Alright, they've got to be under here. The only thing I can think of. Uh... I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Well, this isn't good. Oh, okay. How you doing, dude? Ah, you're awake. It's good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky that we came along. I had been speaking with the watch when we heard the sounds of a fight and ran to see what was happening. We didn't arrive in time to prevent you getting knocked out. But we may have saved you from getting your throat cut. Now, maybe you can help me. We've always had brigands in the hills. Driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, however, they've been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing the town looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets, but I'm not sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly tempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prominent house, out alone after dark in times like these. Well, I suppose you were too, but you're a stranger here, and I didn't know how bad things have become. He had no such excuse, but he's family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments either, and I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay it. So here's my proposition. You look like you've been a bit of experience with a blade. Well, not really. And more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't be coming to North America to seek, their, to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? Uh... Okay, might as well. You saved my life. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on the whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant. Uh, you first want to round up a group of volunteers. There's always a few lads in the villages around here looking for a bit of work that's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So, take this purse of $100, consider it in advance on your reward. Go around to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you need at least five men to take on those bandits. Very good, so I'll collect some men from around the villages. Good. You can find me again in the tavern here in Cincinnati after you got your act or group together. Then we'll speak about what we do next. Alright, you have taken your first quest. You may view your quest log by pressing Q any time in the game. Collect five. Okie dokie. Tab to leave now. You can press tab to quickly exit any location in, your ga uh, in the game. Okay. Um, can I just go in here? Bath? No. Tab, maybe? That'll bring me in? No. Take an action. Wait here for some time. Resume traveling. No, I don't want to set up camp. I just want to go into town. 
Okay. That's a garrison. Columbus of Isle. Go to, oh, okay, there we go, okay. Take a walk around the streets, visit the tavern. Visit the tavern place. Hello, folks. How are you? How's everybody doing? You guys aren't all that happy, are you? Now, I don't want to talk to you, but I will talk to you. Sir, if you want to justify the trust which I have placed in you, then... Hold on. That's the dude I was speaking to. No, I don't want to talk to you. All right, we'll talk to you. Greetings, friends. You look like the kind, kind of a man who do well to know me. I travel a lot across North America and keep an open ear. I can provide you with information that might find useful for a meager price, of course. All right. How much will that cost me? Maybe I can help you. Farewell. Yeah, no, you're useless to me. Greetings to you, most noble sir. Uh, I'm not interested. Okay, obviously I'll have to leave. <clears throat> Broker. Alright, I will hire you. Here's 40... What? 47 bucks? Are you kidding me? Oh, my land. All right, I'll grab you. I mean, I don't know what else to do, but... How much money do I have? $183. Okay. Uh, I already been there. Go to Marketplace. One dollars per night. Oh, no. We're going to leave. We're going to go to Columbus, Ohio. That's if I don't. Here I go. Diddly diddly do. Diddly diddly do. You better not be a manhunter. This is a robbery. Oh, come on. Give me a break. I'm just new. I'm new to this. Leave me be. <laughs> Pull back, leaving some soldiers behind to cover your retreat. I'm not surrendering. Oh, a battle against these six guys? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. I'm not gonna leave one guy behind. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm a dead man. Where are they? Oh, R does that, huh? How do I get off this dang thing? Uh, yeah, how do I get off here? Someone just took a pot shot at me. Let me see if I can't take a knife to him. I'm a dead man. Yep, there goes five damage. Oh my goodness, Mike, you're slow. Please don't tell me I gotta restart. Not from scratch, please. Your enemies take you prisoner. Yeah, well that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> How does combat whoa, what's going on here? Okay. Faction eliminated Apaches multiplayers no more. But the Apache Faction eliminated Western Outlaws multiplayers no more. 
What? Western law man. After painful days of being dragged about as a prisoner, you find a chance to escape from the cappers. Really? Run, Mike, run. Run, little man, run. Run like you've never run before. Run! Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. They didn't take any of my inventory. Oh, isn't that something? How much money do I have? Well, they only took a little bit. Apparently, they killed that. Alright, how do you reload? Oh, blue my neck. All right, let's take a look here. Options. Controls. Toggle weapon mode, X. So, uh, that must mean that I can go from firing to, like, swinging it, maybe. Sheath weapon. Leave location. Yeah. As you can tell, I am not good at this one little bit. How do you UI crouch Z? Huh. E for kick, toggle weapon mode. Context. Wow, okay, I'm not seeing anything to help me understand this at all. All right. X, what's that do? Ah, okay. Would have been nice for me to remember that. All right. They stole my freaking horse. Hey, Sheriff, how you doing? What's this? Looks like to be a saloon to me, but I'm not seeing any. It's a general store. Oh. This is not going to work for me. The trade is the trade screen. Hold down control. Okay. Actually, there's nothing here that I need. Um. Okay, good. The only thing about this is traveling to Louisville. Let's go, little man. Oh, hold on. Do I have to buy food? Okay, go to governor's, drive around the streets, enter shootouts, go to the marketplace, wait here for one, no, I don't want to do that. <coughs> the town of Louisville appears to be struggling, you hear the occasional grumble in the marketplace about the price of everyday items, but they appear to be a reasonable amount of goods for sale. You see, that's because no one can buy them. Uh, you see the banner of Governor Hannibal Hamlin of American settlers over the town gates. Populous is indifferent to you. Okay, so zero would be mean. Eh. 
Let's visit the tavern. Hey guys, how you doing? Good day, so how can I help you? I like to buy every man who comes in here tonight a shot of whiskey. I don't think so. Have you heard uh, of anyone in this realm who might have a job for a man like myself? Okay, well, that's not going to work. Uh, let's leave. And let's go to... That's where I started off. Well, those guys drugged me everywhere. That was horrible. Go to Bowling Green, I guess. Obviously, military. Or, no, American settlers. Okay. Recruit volunteers. Recruit them. That's two. That's four now. Alright, what do we have here? Now, that's where the tools are hanging out there. The ones who took me in and made me feel bad about myself. All right, little guy. Start walking. Let's hope we don't get ambushed again. That would really stink. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I do have to buy food. Okay. All right, well, buy supplies from villagers. All right. How much are they asking for this? Thirty. You kidding me? How much gold do I have? One hundred twenty-three dollars. Plus six to party morale. How much are they ask? Buying price of ninety. You're kidding me. You're killing me here. Oh my god. Alright, let's... How am I going to get across there, I wonder? Let me guess. It's going to go straight forward, are you? Mounted War Chief Butlus was defeated in battle and was... Man, but managed to escape. Alright, what's going on here? Night time, I know. Oh, no. Walk across water. Right on. I can live with that. Trade with the Iron Merchant Armor. Let's go. Let's see. What do you have here? <clears throat> okay, it looks like we have enough food for the dudes. Indigo. Supplies. How much? One thousand two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's way out of line there. Sorry. Uh, access local prices. We overhear several discussions about the price of trade goods across the local area. You listen closely, trying to work out the best deals around. I lost two dollars. As a party member with the highest trade skill one, you try to figure out the best goods to trade in. However, you are unable to find any trade goods that would bring profit. Uh, okay. Let's leave now. Where was I trying to get to? I was... I can't believe it was... Let's go to the camp. Approach the gates and hail the guard. See the banner of Brigadier. Uh, gee, I don't know. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go over here. Now, this is where I got hammered on. <clears throat> I was accosted here. Recruit volunteers. Recruit them. 
leave. Now, didn't he say I had to go back to speak to him? Mount of War Chief Butler's defeating battle, but managed to escape. That's the second time he's got, uh... I think I have more than enough people. Now, where he was was in the tavern, so let's go down there and, uh... There he is. Yeah! <laughs> you have hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travelers in Cincinnati have told us that there's a small group of robbers working on the outside of the town. I suspect that they are all from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them and make them disclose the location of the lair. Why don't you come with us? Because I'm paying you to take care of it. That's the short answer. The long answer is that I got some leads to follow up here in town. I just have... Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, I guess I have no idea just outside of town he said right there there catch up with them what do you want surrender or die well I'm on foot this time so Charge, I suppose. There they are. How do you reload? Uh, probably the best time right now would be to do it right now. How do you reload? How do you reload? How do you reload? T? No. F? Okay. Good kill, guys. Reload, reload. Come on, hurry it up. Before I get my head shot off. I got him. Alright, hold on. Where'd that dude fall off his horse, man? I want... Old musket. I can't... Access to where'd this horse go? I want that horse then. Look, I want something from these guys for what they've done to me. There's the bandit there. Why can't I access him? Uh, use your baggage to access inventory during battle. It's at the starting position. Well, no, I want to. I want to take what this guy has. Honest now. Oh. 
You have defeated the enemy. You catch at least two settlers, one killed, one wounded. Total two, one killed. Enemy counts one looter, one killed. One dangerous outlaw killed. Bandit, bandit chief, one wounded. Two killed, total five killed. Okay. Aye, spare me, spare my life. No, I help, man, I'd cut you. Let me go and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade. You'll never hear from me again. I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. Either you or your mates kidnapped the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts and you can go free. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Quest succeeded. Learn where the hostages were held. Oh, bless you, sir. Bless you. We've done that lad no harm. We've been keeping keeping him in a hideout near Detroit suburbs. I'll describe the area nearby in detail so there's no mistaking it. Well, 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 what do we have here? I'm going to take your food from you. I like that hat. You can have my, actually I can sell that. I want that horse. I want that. I want that. I like your clothes, but what's this? Calvary Carbine. Really? Really? Huh. Look at the weapons you got on you there, dude. Oh, look at that. We got a shotgun. Enfield. A Springfield Carbine. Breach loading. Definitely. Uh, I like your clothing though, I have to admit. Uh, no, actually, it kind of makes me look like a dandy. Alright, that looking better. That I can sell. party all right so we're supposed to go let's go and speak to Dickie do he who's that now US caravan uh, visit the tavern yeah that green color does not work So, you found out where they, they hid my brother. Splendid work. I flatter myself that I'm a fine judge of character, and you look to be a man who can who can get things done. I was going to say can't get things done. That would probably be more truthful than can get things done. Now, go out and save this unwor uh, his unworthy hide. Very well. I'll go now and talk to Bansom. Terrific. Yeah, how do you like my stat, my, my, my look, dude? Pretty cool, huh? I go to the marketplace. Let's sell my crap. Trade with arms merchant. I actually want to keep. Do I sell my clothes at? Let me see. Okay, so that would be the. No, that wouldn't be the only thing. Oh, we got some bread here. That's plus four. Okay, that's plus five. Uh, what's this give me? Plus 12 to body armor, plus 29 to leg armor. Okay. Uh, I got some silver on me. 55 bullets, metal or paper, sell price. Okay, well, I got. We're going to go to the tools. We'll sell that. Would like some bread, though. How much are you selling your bread for? 58. Um, let's go to the arm dealers. Okay, let's go to the arms merchant. What do you have here, dude? Oh, nice. I sure could use that, actually. That's a pepper box. That's a... 
How much sell that for? Speed rating up to two-handed, one-handed swing. It's not telling me what the sell price might end up being for that. All right, so that's my Enfield. I like my car. I like the, I'm going to keep the carbine. Shoot, man. Uh, we'll go back to another. What do you have for ammo? Absolutely diddly squat. Muzzle loading, muzzle that's all he's got. I don't want to sell my shotgun, but I'll sell it. Uh, I am going to keep my... I got $22 for that. Pathetic. Let's go back to the goods here. Um... Sell that. We'll sell that. Now, hold on now. Do I need to use that for repairing my... Like, I don't know how this works. I, like I said, I really, I've really played it once, but I didn't play it all that well, so... Or that long. I mean, I would like to give some stuff to my, you know, some alcohol to my buddies here. Oh, okay, so they did keep everything I have there. I don't know. I guess we'll go with that. Uh, let's go talk to the horse merchant, because obviously I lost my horse. How much is he asking? 306. That's not bad, really. What Baxter, Brown, War, Mustang? No, I don't want to do that. You had to kill an Indian to get that, and I'm not buying that. I'm not going to pay somebody money to do that. It's not going to happen. Hmm. What color do I like? It's 107, that one there. A trapper horse. Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. All right, folks. I really hope you enjoyed this video so far. Uh, I don't mind having myself look like a total tool when I do things. But um, I do hope you enjoy it. But I, I you know, I, I, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. Why did it take me so long to not play this? But I'm really enjoying this. All right, folks. Uh, take care. I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a series on this. Take care, and bye for now.